Well, we, we do want to talk in a moment about your, your new book, Designer Women, mm -hmm. uh, Geared to Women. Mm -hmm. But there is uh, an experience that you went through that many women have, have gone yes. through with, yes. with cancer that, that maybe uh, you could help us to just touch on and, yes. and some of what, what happened. Yes. In 2005, in just a normal mammogram, they diagnosed me with breast cancer. Uh, it turned out to be a lumpectomy and uh, um, two surgeries, um, four intense um, uh, applications of chemotherapy, mm -hmm. and then 37 treatments of radiation. At the beginning, someone gave me a small book. I didn't want to read it, How to Get Through Cancer, and I thought, oh, but then I picked it up, and she really spoke to me. She had A, B, C, accept what you cannot change. I had to accept that this was a disease in my body, and I could die, accept. And B was be your best. My daughters kept saying mm -hmm. to me, they were miles away, but they kept saying, Mom, keep your color up. Keep your color up, Mom. Keep your color up. What Keep the color in your face. Mm. Put your makeup on, Mom. Mm. And I went out uh, when I knew I would be losing all my hair, and I bought a wig. I had two people with me who had not known me. I was in a new neighborhood, a new state. These two women did not know me, but we saw an Auburn wig, and they said, Ruth, you must buy that wig. <laughs> and I bought it, and I wore it as all my hair left, all my, uh, when I cried, my daughter cried when my hair went, when I cried was when even my eyelashes were gone. Mm -hmm. Every piece of hair on my body was gone. But B was be your best mm -hmm. for yourself and for others. And C was courage. Mm -hmm. Courage, get up and walk, God is with you. And you know, the Lord put a smile on my face. The Lord was so present in, in my weakness. And it was during that time that God said, Ruth, it's time for you to do, put a name on your ministry, which comes from Psalm 144, 12, B, where it says, uh, David has this vision that God gives him for sons and daughters. He says, may our sons be as strong plants, trees, and beside them may our daughters be as pillars designed for the corner of a palace. And it was in that silence, that sickness, that, that where am I, God? What is happening as my life ended? That God said, now is the time. Now is the time for you to go out and speak to women mm. about the pillar I've called them all to be. Mm. And so a actually at that time, three months later, my husband, who is a marathon runner, did 30 marathons in 10 years. He's wow. an animal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He had triple heart bypass surgery. Mm. So here were the two of us, mm. I without my hair, and he could hardly walk, you know? Mm -hmm. And we, we were on an equal footing of weakness. And we just started laughing and praising God. Well, when he, we got over my last uh, uh, radiation treatment, we got onto a plane, and I with my wig, and flew to North India and preached mm. to about 30,000 people. God, uh, mm. you know, He just has a way of taking yeah. our pits, our weakness, our distress, and turning it into something powerful. And you know He's in it because you are absolutely incapable of doing it. Mm. Wow. So I just want to give that word to women who are going through cancer, yeah. that God loves them, is with them. And um, it's a better time to know Jesus. Mm. Yeah. Thank you, Ruth, for sharing that. Yeah. Well, in, in speaking all around the world to, to women, I'm mm -hmm. sure that you find, even though they're on the other side of the world, mm -hmm. there are similar needs Absolutely. in women's lives. And, and God uh, gave you a book. Well, he, first he gave us the book, Absolutely. and then you, you based it's your book based on the that. book, taking, looking at different women. Mm -hmm. yes. And uh, this is called Designer Women. And I, it's a great title. And Ruth, tell us a little bit uh, about this book and the inspiration behind it. Yeah. It's called Designer Women Made by God because a designer item is unique. You know, a lot of us don't have money to buy designer <laughs> items, but I tell you, if we're at a rebate store or someplace and we see one and it's marked way down, yes, we want that designer <laughs> item. We are designer items. Every woman is uniquely made by God, gifted by God, 
uh, just a total package that he has made. I want women to know that. So I've gone back into the scripture, which has formed my own life. I've found that women do not know the stories of women of the Bible. They don't know them. I had one woman say to me, ah, yes, well, there's uh, Eve, of course, and um, <laughs> Mary, the mother yeah. of Jesus, but who else is there? <laughs> And I want women to see. I want women to see these women as women just like ourselves, even though ancient, many years ago, and how God and Jesus Christ met them, mm -hmm. and worked with them, empowered them, and prepared them to do the work of God. And in your book, you say there are lessons that we can learn from the various women in the Bible. Absolutely. Uh, designed to be loved, the story mm. of Eve. Mm. Designed to wait, the story of Hagar. Designed yes. to take charge, the story of Ruth. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, leadership, that's one that's been a battle, you mm -hmm. know, as do women lead, should they lead, can they lead? We just need to look at the scripture and we mm -hmm. find that God chose women as leaders Absolutely. because he is the one who gives the gifts. He mm -hmm. is the one who sets us where we need to be. And I want women to open their hearts uh, to Jesus, a loving God. Mm -hmm. And the bottom line is not gender. Mm -hmm. It's not if we're married, if we're single. It's will we be a disciple mm -hmm. of Jesus? And then within our parameters of responsibility, he's going to define that. Mm -hmm. But he wants us to say, yes, I will be your disciple. Mm. Well, this book is so new. It's not even out yet. It's just coming out later this month of November. Uh, you can look for it in, in bookstores mm -hmm. or uh, you can go to crossroads.ca. You can find links as to, to how you can uh, get a copy of the book. But um, you're going to be doing our series over the next couple of weeks of Truth to Go. Yes. And maybe you can give us a, a little bit of a, a teaser as to what we can expect, what viewers can expect over the next while. Well, I, um, I think that there's a great longing to see God, to see God, to see this one who we say is invisible. So the title of it is They Saw the Lord. Mm -hmm. And again, I'm going back to the scripture, but weaving my life into it of how different ones, men and women, I also speak to men, they're always, especially outside of the U.S., they're always sitting there, you know, when I'm <laughs> speaking to women, the yeah. men are always there. Uh, of men and women throughout the scripture who saw God, who heard his word, who walked with Jesus, or in some cases, who had helping hands around them mm -hmm. that showed Jesus to them. Mm -hmm. And I want the viewers, I just want to mm -hmm. spill God's love out on them that they will see the Lord. Mm -hmm. 